Now here's the difference. If I quickly do a fast travel, and if you check out the progress bar on both, look closely. And there you go. In my watch, it takes exactly um, nine seconds for me every time. Even the game's boot time is faster now. Hey everyone, Solid Asia, welcome back. Just a quick video with two quick fixes for the light version. The first one is the long loading time. I found a very easy fix for it. And the second one is the missing DLSS option in the game settings that some of you are experiencing. So let's clear them up. Start by fixing that loading time. From desktop mode, let's exit Steam. Open the Discover Store. Now if you don't have it pinned on the taskbar, you can just search it from the start menu. Now search for Proton Up. Here it is, Proton Up Qt. Install it. Once done, launch it. Click Add Version and install G Proton 10.25. After the installation is complete, you can close it and launch Steam. Right click on Wireline's Mate Lite, go to Properties, then Compatibility, and select G Proton 10.25. That's it. Now, when you run the game, everything will be faster, quick, and simple. Now, the second fix is for those who don't see the DLSS option in game settings, you need to run the game in DirectX 12 mode, and here's how. Go to the folder where your game launcher is installed. Inside the WWM folder, open Win32, then deploy and open this settings.ini file. Make sure DX12 is set to true. Then save and close it. Open Steam, run the launcher, click enter game, and once you reach the menu, just close the game. And as I have explained it in my previous guide, you'll need to redo the FSFO DLL step. Just copy these backed up DLL files and replace these existing ones and you're good to go. Now when you run the game using the direct game shortcut, all the options including DLSS should be visible. And that's it, two very easy fix. I'm also working on a follow-up guide for my Expedition 33 Ultimate Performance Guide which will hopefully feature some more improvements for visuals and also gameplay. So stay tuned, I'll see you soon.